Hello guys, welcome to Think Alert Skill Plus MP Shock Development course. So we are from Digitronics Nepal. So let's go to our today's section. We are in lab first basic IP overview of Think Alert Skill Plus. So we are going to create a new project with Vivara 2070.4 and so up the IP of Think Alert Skill Plus processing system. So here are some design steps. So we are going to create a new project with GCU one or two development board and add the Jing processing system that is Jing Ultra Skill Plus and Pishok processing system inside that new block design project. And we are going to customize that Jing processing system IP is our requirement. So we can go to Vivaro. Before that, let's see the references of our course. So these are the references. So we can go to DS891 that is targeted reference design manual, TRD manual or TRM for single rascal plus MP shop. And you can go to UG2009, UG1085, UG1165 and UG1228 for ultra fast embedded design methodology. So these are very important references. So you can note down these references so we can go to now let's go to vivaro and let's see the 2070.4 environment so all the things are quite similar and styling just have instantiated or initialized this section in this sub menu so we can go to for create new project and we're going to create a new project for zinc called Russell plus mp shock Based FEG that is JSU one or two. Let's do next and let's uh, let's place any name and we can do next. Let's do next. Let's go for RTL project and we can click on do not specify sources. Actually, we don't have any sources and we can just select the target board. And if you have 2070.4 and install the Jink Ultra Skill Plus also then you will get the boards here or you can add boards yourself add boards in your reward so let's do finish and actually we are getting the corresponding tickle commands here so these tickle commands can utilize for creating similar type of project from command interface in the next time so we, we don't need to go through that GUI graphical user inter interface. We can just utilize some tickle commands, tool command, language commands. And those commands are very much optimized and it actually take less time. And sometimes these tickle commands are heavily necessary for optimization purposes. That is some resource optimization and timing analysis on Vivaro. Actually, these commands are very good for complete design of any project so if we want to utilize some timing analysis and some resource optimization methodology then we can have this tool command language commands so our 27.4 interface is already open so let's just have a very short look up here Actually, some things are a little bit arranged in 2074. We can see here, tickle console is, is, is the previous one, and we can see the messages here and locks. Actually, these are all the is, is like the previous one, and everything is like quite similar. And some sections are added here. Actually, we are going to show you those sections like project summary and some run sections. And some general criticism of some files are also included here in the next time. So let's go to create block design and let's do okay. And we are just going to include the process system that is Zinc Ultra Skill Plus Processing System IP in this project. So we are going to utilize that Zinc Process System of Ultra Skill Plus MP Shock in next embedded application. So let's have a look of this. IP in detail. So let's go to add IP and let's type Jink Ultra Scale Plus MP Shock. Actually, we have selected the 
single rescue plus development board so it only show up the processing system for that all rescue plus environment or all rescue plus FEG if you are creating the project first time in your VBAR environment then it might take a little bit time for like synchronizing the IPs or S R A R you can get it very fast so let's do run block automation actually it automatically set up the IP in basic mode that is default mode and we are going to see some basic features on this IP by just double clicking on that IP so We just need to have some PS UART for email application and we can you can check this this uh, ports that is UART I square C can must be initialized in your customization menu also and you can go to PSPL configuration and some general and actually we don't need this fabric research enable and we can go to PSP interface and master interface and we can also disable these two sections and we can go to now to IO configuration Next, all the things are necessary. So let's just click on OK. Actually, what we need to do is we need to have another thing also. That is, we need to add up application processing unit, real-time processing unit in the inside of this sync processing system. So let's click on switch to advanced mode and let's go to isolation configuration actually from this isolation configuration we can add up some block so we can click on enable isolation and this secure enable secure debug will also automatically add it so we can go to add new subsystem we can place any name like is apu for application processing unit and we can click on it and we can add some master port we can add master port is this apu actually this is our master port and we can again click on here and some slaves slaves must be like uh, uart they must have uart uart zero and we can again add some slips that is SW DT0. These are the slips, and we need to have some memory instantiation for this master application process unit. And we are also going to add another unit. Actually, we haven't have completed for APU. We are going to complete that APU in another section. So this is the very basic example of how we add different peripherals. They must have some RPU, RPU zero in the code. And you can also add some slips. So we can add URD one. So this is the very basic example of how we add different block inside our ultra skill plus jing processing system ip and we will complete this menu in upcoming video so guys thanks for watching we will continue and we will complete this customization option in another video thank you